What it do, what it do, fam? It's your boy D. I'm coming back with another video. And those who are new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you're not new, you know what this channel is about to do. Now, today I'm going to talk about a story about a middle school student in Ypsilanti, Michigan. A shout out, Ypsilanti. Hey. One part of the Metro Detroit um, areas there, you know, Ypsilanti is a few hours from, you know, maybe about, well, about maybe about an hour or so a drive or something like that, or longer. I don't know, but it's in distance from, you know, the D, you know, but um, yeah, it was um, parents, you know, had um, pretty much complained about how this coach and it was caught on surveillance you know how the, he ran up on the sun and ran up on um their son attacked him took his t-shirt wrapped it around his throat and everything and i'm gonna let you see the video for yourself because this is really crazy this is another case to me of um of bullying to me, the teacher's bullying, and I did, remember I did a, a live, a Saturday night discussion regarding, you know, you know, teachers um, that's bullying on um, the students. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play that video for you and I'm going to let you um, see for yourself. But we begin tonight with a middle school student, Ypsilanti, recovering from an attack by one of his coaches. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. The assault was captured on school surveillance video. District officials say that the school employee has been terminated. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig is at the middle school talking to the students' parents who say they want that coach to be held accountable. The parents of the Ypsilanti Middle School student who was attacked were shocked when they saw the surveillance video of what they say was clearly an assault. Michael told me that his coach had choked him. I was angry. Angry because this video that one relative says looks like a movie of someone being jumped in a prison is actually their 14-year-old son being attacked by one of his coaches at Ypsilanti Middle School. I was horrified. Um, it, it made me lose trust in the school system. It also made me lose trust in that coach. Because, I mean, he was someone that Michael looked up to. We're not naming the coach because he has not been charged, but he's also what the school calls a paraeducator. It happened last week, Tuesday. Michael told his parents it started with the coach telling him to do some push-ups because he'd been horsing around in the hallway. Michael said he tried to explain that he couldn't do the push-ups because he injured his hand. Michael then gets up and goes to class. But 10 seconds later, the coach goes in after him. And in the hallway, the coach takes off his shirt, winds it up around his wrist, and proceeds to choke Michael from behind. Behind. Michael suffered some injuries and told his parents. His dad went to police, his mother to the principal. He just told me what had happened. Um, and he told me that it was uh, the worst, you know, thing that he had seen, you know, and he was thoroughly disgusted with it. And the person had been terminated. But when Michael's mother asked to see the surveillance video, they wouldn't give it to me. They were eventually able to get it from Ypsilanti police and were told they're investigating. And so is the family's attorney. We will simultaneously watch what the uh, Washington County Prosecutor Office does to um, the school official that assaulted him. And then, um, you know, we're open to having a dialogue with the school to uh, make sure that this doesn't happen again, that there's accountability. This is a letter from the superintendent to all parents that just went out today. The superintendent does not tell what happened, but does write that such actions are absolutely unacceptable and will not be tolerated in our district. And effective immediately, the employee is no longer working at the school district and is not permitted to enter school property or attend school activities. Michael's parents want to see the coach face criminal charges. Absolutely. The extent of you know, how he came after Mike and what he did, what he used to come after Mike. Yes, absolutely. I need this man to pay for what he did to my son. And that means being fired, losing his job and sitting in jail. I need him to know that what he did was wrong. In Ypsilanti, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Another case of 
school employer bullying. School employer bullying. This dude, you know, didn't have to do that. I know sometimes kids is going to horseplay around sometimes, you know, especially middle schoolers, you know. And there's times I have to tell them, will y'all stop? Will you please? I mean, I work at a school, like I said, and I, I deal sometimes with middle school. And in middle school, they will test your waters. They will test your patience. And sometimes they'll just, just horseplay because it's in their nature. You know, this is what they do. You know, they like to play around. And some of them can be disrespectful. Now, I don't know if this kid was disrespectful in whatever he, he told him or whatever. But he, the guy tried to, you know, get him to do push-ups. He told him he had injured a hand, his hand, in, you know, um, and that he couldn't do the push-ups. Okay, you can horse around, but still, I mean, even if he didn't do the push-ups, there's still no right for um, anybody to, um, you know, nobody, you know, have the rights to put their hands on nobody's child at all. And that's that. that's just what it is, you know. It's just what it is. You know, nobody have the rights to touch nobody's child, especially the way he did it, took his shirt off, you know, you know, kind of like twisted it up and then put it around the boy's neck there. And then the boy was bruised. So with that being said, that's not, you know, that's, that's, that's uncalled for, uncalled for. Now that father's a good one. Seemed like I know that father though, but you know, he seems familiar. It looks familiar to me, you know, even the name, I don't know. I mean, he is a Michigan resident. So, I mean, but both the mom and dad do look familiar. I might have seen them before, but the fact of the matter is I would have been heated and I would have wanted to meet face to face with that gym teacher, you know, though they, you know, terminated, I want to meet them face to face. And that school should have showed them the surveillance tape from the get go. They should have showed it to them when they asked, this is their child. Okay. They should have showed them the tape. They shouldn't have had to go to the police to get the tape. Now, I fought the school for that. They could have. They could have showed it to them. But it is what it is in this case. The fact that it happened, the guy's terminated. But the way he did it, like prison style, though, they said, and then had that thing around his neck and the way he was wrestling and mandling him, no, nah, he should actually be charged. I mean, he should have been, but that's just me, you know, when it comes to a child, especially somebody's child. And that father was cool, calm, and collected because, I mean, I would have went up and I would have said something to him, you know, me as being a parent, you know, as a father, you know, I, I would have, you know, said something. I would have confronted the guy, you know, and, you know, and I would have to pray for me. That's that's what I say. I would have to pray for me when it comes to that. But you know, like I said, he handled it in a um, in a good way. You know, he went to the police. The mother went to the principal, and it worked out the way it's supposed to work out. But I think that dude really do need to be charged. From what I looked at on that video, comment below and let me know what you think. All right. Till we meet again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to hit that host bell notification button for any upcoming videos. And remember, God loves you and so do I. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Till we meet again in the next video. Peace.